Hi, and a happy new year to everybody. This is uh, 2nd of January 2016, and I thought I would start the year out by creating some videos for the Raspberry Pi, installing Raspbian Noobs, the latest versions, and having a quick look at what is uh, new for 2016, at least the ones that are superficially new that help the newcomer to installing things like the Wi-Fi, uh, SSH, and configuring some of the GPIO. So without further ado, let's get to it. Um, the first thing you need to go and do is go to the raspberrypi.org website and go to Downloads, as you can see here and then select noobs. Now I'm going to do noobs because it gives you the options and so for a newcomer it is the easiest thing to use for anything. So you just click that and start the download going. Um, pick the full-blown noobs. Uh, the noobs light will save you some time on download but really it's going to need to do some more download after that anyway so the fully blown noobs still has Raspbian included with it so I'm going to just download the uh, full blown one for offline and network install and uh, go from there so let's just start the download I'll come back to you as soon as it's completed okay so it's going to take about 16 minutes to download at the moment and the date, the version of this is Noobs version 1.5.0. The release date is the 21st of November 2015. So this is the latest one that has been released by RaspberryPi.org. Okay, we now have Noobs downloaded. The version is 1.5.0. It's in a zip file. So the way that you install this is you just simply open up the zip file and copy it onto an SD card. So this is the uh, entire thing here. I've got a 32 gig SanDisk Ultra Class 10 mini SD card. So I'm just going to put this into my SD reader. Writer. I'm using a Transcend USB 3 SD card reader writer in case you're wondering. And I will uh, format that card and then copy all of the files onto it ready to boot up on the Raspberry Pi. So after you've plugged in your SD card and you you know you, you don't have to have one that's 32 gigabytes in size you could use a 16 gig and 8 gig or for Raspbian even a 4 gig it really doesn't matter which one you just want to make sure that it's a uh, a fast one to optimize your chances of everything working efficiently on your Raspberry Pi anyway here's mine it comes up as drive F and what you want to to run is SD formatter and the current version is version 4.0. You can download this from the internet quite easily. In fact, if I just bring up a uh, extra page, I'll put in SD formatter and I'll show you where the link is. All right, we'll just Google SD formatter and you just, in this case, just pick version four. It's where you want it from is sdcard.org. All right, There's, you may find it in a few different places, but this is the official place for it. So just go into here and just pick the SD formatter for Windows or for Mac, depending on what you're using. So when you run the SD formatter version 4, the first thing it's going to do is show you any SD cards that are currently installed in your system. Now, I would suggest you unplug any SD cards except for the one you want to format, just to prevent any mistakes being made. In my case, I've done that, and the only one left is drive F, which is my mini SD card. And the other thing you want to do here is, under options, you want to... Um, adjust format size adjustment you want to turn it on uh, the reason for that is if you look at this it thinks that my SD card right now is 1.12 gigabyte that's because it's got multiple partitions in it and the reality is it does not it's been used before on a Linux system and so I just want to clean it and get it out of the way and restore it back to its effectively factory condition so I'm going to call it Raspberry Pi boot and I'm going to as I said, have the option to size adjustment on and just keep it with a quick format. So just hit format, accept the yes, accept the yes, let it go do its thing, and you're basically done. Once you've done that, just exit from there, go back to your um, zip file, which is here. So this is my uh, Raspberry Pi boot disk now. Um, it's just showing up as drive F, as I said. And I want to take all of these files from the zip file and just extract them into the root folder and that's all you got to do to install them as you can see it goes in pretty quick and there we have it so that's all you really need to do to get it installed onto the SD card make sure you format it properly and then just copy the files once you've downloaded it out of the zip extracting them into the root folder 
and you're done. The next thing we're going to have to do is install it into a Raspberry Pi and power it up. Now, because I don't have, um, you know, it's going to be an empty Raspberry Pi, so I'm not going to have any software on it to actually do any screen capture or anything like that. So I'm just going to use my video camera and um, directly capture from the screen as I power this up. Once you've got that done, I will take you through any of the new configuration changes that are there that are that are easily available to everybody.